podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. After a year and a half of renovations, the Southeastern Center for Contemporary Art in Winston-Salem is back and better than ever. Let's take a look at some of the most thought-provoking art you'll find in the state. As you approach the stately entrance to the Southeastern Center for Contemporary Art, otherwise known as SICA, you'll pass by this work of art. And this is your first sign that this isn't the typical art museum. It's one of the most important contemporary art centers in the country. It's rather remarkable for its emphasis on um, emerging artists. SICA has you know, been on the forefront for a number of years and like many of its peers across the United States and beyond, um, we seek to really promote um, the cutting edge. And uh, what you see here and in the other gallery are examples of what we think are important uh, works of art and trends in contemporary art that we feel the public needs to know about. Currently, Sika has two exhibits glassware featuring glass and contemporary jewelry, and look again, an exhibit with works from around the world in the Trump Loy tradition, or trick of the eye. Well, the, the exhibition Glassware is a show that was co-curated by the Museum of Art and Design in New York and the Schmuck Museum in Pforzheim, Germany. It's an exhibition that really looks at jewelry, not from a traditional ornamental perspective, but more, as you might have said earlier, from a conceptual standpoint. How might glass ripple across various designers' um, sensibilities and what role might it play? Um, what does it say about how glass can be meaningful in the context of ornamental jewelry or in sculpture? Because in fact, almost all of the work that's in that um, gallery is sculpture. Among the unique jewelry, including a bracelet made from a poison bottle, you can find works by local North Carolina artists. After seeing glass in a whole new light, it's a few steps to look again. An exhibit hall filled with works that not only make you look again, but think twice. It's so mind-provoking to, to figure out how you can use what is mundane to make something so profound, like the buttons that look like crystals. It's just amazing to me. And Um, I like the one with the obstacle illusion that looks like you're going, that there's actually a basement down there. It's really cool. I want one for my room. <laughs> for us to pull things together like this, like for example, look again, where what you think you see isn't always what is seen or what's in front of you. That's the kind of thing that we think um, our exhibits do for the public. They give pause. They allow the public to um, immerse themselves in an experience which you wouldn't otherwise have. And we think that's a valuable thing for people to do. It's just, it's fascinating. It kind of redefines art to me because it's like these things, you don't think about them being art. I don't know. It's just, I, I enjoy it. It's very interactive. You know, you can walk around it and look at it and you, this is uh, very friendly. I don't know, it's, it's fun. It's fun art, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm not uh, used to looking at, you know, experiencing modern art. I'm more of a traditional classical art, but this is, this is really interesting and uh, very thought-provoking. It's about ideas. I mean, all of this exemplifies ideas, so, and tries to really pull and tease different strains of thought forward um, in very unlikely ways. But it just amazes me what provokes the, the kind of thinking that would produce art like this. I could stay here for hours. It's I think I can't thing. imagine anyone not enjoying this exhibit. For North Carolina Weekend, I'm John Bolenbacher. The glassware exhibit at Sika closes this weekend, so don't dawdle if jewelry is your thing. Look Again continues until October 10th. Admission is always free. Find them online at Sika.org or call them at 336-725-1904 for more information.
Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.